why rental properties in this video we're going to break down why i love rental properties and why you need to be investing in rental properties too so why do i love rental properties well it's easy they provide what's called cash flow and cash flow is basically the amount that you get to keep after you pay all your expenses so you see with rental properties we rent these properties out for more money than we owe when we get a loan on them from a bank. So let's say that our loan with the bank is $700 and I charge $1,100 in rent on a property that I rent out. The difference between that $1,100 and that $700 is $400. And that extra money is what is called cash flow. I get to keep that. Not only do I get to keep that money, it's taxed differently than earned income. And earned income would be money that you trade your time for. This is passive income. So another advantage is, is that you are taxed less on the income that is created from these properties. I love cash flow. Another great thing about real estate is that you can use leverage to purchase them, meaning that you only have to put down 10 or 20%. In some cases, if you're a first time home buyer and you get an FHA loan, you only have to put down 3% to get into a property. There's not very many other types of investments that you can use that kind of leverage. So leverage is one of the key things in real estate that makes it great. Okay, now let's take a second and think of a rental property as a piggy bank just like this and you buy this property and you get a loan on it right and this piggy bank is basically empty however every single month somebody else pays the mortgage for you and whenever you pay your mortgage in the beginning a little bit goes towards the principal what you owe the rest is given to the bank in terms of interest well after a couple payments you start to get a little bit of money in that piggy bank over time the amount of the payment that goes to the bank for the principal increases while the amount that goes to the interest decreases so what happens is the longer that you own the property and that you are paying monthly on the mortgage the higher percentage of that amount goes to principal the coolest part about this is somebody else is making these payments for you the tenants okay the tenants that we get to rent the properties are making these payments for me now we traditionally get a 20 year loan on our property so in 20 years the property is completely paid off so look at it this way in the beginning when people are getting in our properties they may be depositing 20 or 30 or 40 dollars into our piggy bank for us every month but towards the end of that term, let's say towards year 17, 18, 19, even 20, the amount of the payment is higher. So that might be 600, 700, $800. So in the beginning, when we buy a house, our piggy bank, it looks a little bit like this. It's pretty small and you know maybe has about two, $300 in it. But towards the end, when this house gets paid off, this piggy bank is the size of an SUV and it is filled with $100 bills. That is the power of rental properties. Did I mention that whenever you own real estate, you can depreciate it? What does that even mean? Well, when you depreciate a property, it's basically taking a portion of the value of that property, and it's a phantom expense on your taxes. So let's say that you have a property that's worth $100,000, and it's a single family property you can take 127th of that property and depreciate it and or add it as a phantom expense to your taxes. Basically what this does is it offsets your income. So by owning rental properties, you can actually pay less taxes every year. It can offset the income that you make elsewhere, specifically your earned income. I love rental properties. Thanks again for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, drop a comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are on this video. 
Do you agree? Did you disagree? Or are there things that you like about rental properties that I didn't even mention? I'd love to hear from you. Drop a comment below and thanks again for watching.